Okay, so here we go. Just behind me, that red T-shirt there, that's uh, Tim Gronberg. The other side of the table with him is Juan de Rio. <clears throat> that's the game we're going to be watching earlier now. Over there, you've got Shane Hibbard. Well, there we go, that way there. That white T-shirt is Shane Hibbard. And his opponent is... Uh, From the back, I can't tell if it's Martin or Adrien. And here we have our special guest commentator joining us all the way from Tennessee, USA, the international man of mystery, Richard Sue. How are you doing, sir? Doing great. Let me just pull that across here and turn you up because they're not going to be able to hear you otherwise. Okay, sounds good. Yep, I can hear you fine now. So you've traveled over for the European event. How have you found it, the experience in the European meta? Oh, it's uh, really been good. A lot of really good players, and um, all the matches I played the last couple of days were, were really good. Really good. Uh, even the, the few that I lost, um, they were really close matches and could have gone either way. And a couple that I won um, were just really close and got very fortunate on those as well. So excellent. Well, they're getting ready to start the clock now, so we're just going to switch over. Make sure we've got the two players on the screen. <clears throat> so, you've travelled over. You were telling me yesterday you're on a, you're in the navy. You're on a deployment for the next couple of months. So you're not going to be able to take part in the North American Championships or the Nova Squadron Nationals. So, the reason why you've come over here is to try and take part in that same level of tournament. Correct? Yes, exactly. Going to be gone uh, in a couple of weeks for about four and a half months on uh, um, on a ship assignment. So, excellent. All right, they're kicking it off. All right. <laughs> you can see to the rear of the screen, Rasta Mace, George Delapino on the left side of the table playing against... Uh, who's he playing against? I can't see. Uh, it's not Oliver Pocknell. Oliver Pocknell's playing Farm Langalan. Behind them, we've got Janacek Haverson towards the end of the table. So we were talking earlier about how the European um, tournament, in the top 16, there's a huge number of nationalities represented. We've got, it's, we've got Spanish, we've got English, We've got two play Dutch players, we've got two French players, we've got a Polish player, we've got a German player, yep. so a wide array. And, and Scottish from players Europe. too. Yep, well, yeah, you yeah. can. Uh, okay, so yeah, okay, I said English, because yeah, that's part of the thing that comes, no, that comes from being in Spain so long. In Spain, they just kind of default to being English, where we're not, oh, okay, <laughs> as long as okay. you speak English, you're English. And that happened one time at my wedding, my friend came over from Wales, and they were like, all the English people together, and he goes, well, I'm from Wales, but. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, we've got two excellent lists here showing up on screen. So I just realized it's appearing is, is uh, Biggs's shields. So I'm just going to try and fix that. Yeah, it's pretty exciting uh, to see a decimator with Carnor Jacks. Um, yeah. I mean, back home in the States, so one of the guys that's uh, really well known for playing the decimator and uh, either uh, Sunter Fell or Whisper or... Right now, Carner is uh, Phil Horney uh, out in, uh, oh, yeah, somewhere in the Midwest area. Yeah. I think Cincinnati area. Really great player, and uh, um, to see him play at uh, the Hoth Open and make the top four with that list was uh, just fantastic. Um, yeah. So, one of the Foss brothers as well uh, plays the, the the Chirino Carno configuration. Yeah. I won't say which one because honestly, I can't remember. And last year, I goofed a bit. Uh, we were discussing dice throwing and stuff like that and I remember the Australian player that got a lot of flack and I, I pulled an Australian player's name out of my head and it wasn't correct so <laughs> and he took a bit of offence to that uh, Mr. Mr. Foss so I do apologise once again if you go back to see the videos from last year you will see that apology <laughs> that had, I had to insert into the middle of the video I was saying something about a player that wasn't true uh, I think I I'm not going to say no names so because I don't want to mix it up I don't want to get worse at it about it all right, and Jeremy Howard, if you uh, happen to be up and watching, I've got it. your Yavin mat, so um, we oh. got that. So the Sioux International Galactic Delivery uh, System <laughs> will uh, be making that delivery tomorrow. How do you transport those? Uh, these? Yeah. What's, um, what's your, what's well, your got, method? Well, I've got a tube um, that can carry them, but the best way to do it is, you know, you fold them, but uh, put clothes in the middle so they don't uh, right, okay. crease, oh, and, yeah. you know, really hard. So you and put them on like the bottom layer of the suitcase, put the clothes on top, then flop them over the top. Um, Maybe. No, more of uh, you put clothes in the middle. So when yeah. you fold it, it's like a sandwich, but the crease on the edge yeah. um, isn't as uh, flat. Because that's so, the most difficult thing right. about transporting those. Yeah. We had, for example, Francisco Bernard Menendez came back from the World Championships 2015 with his map. 
And uh, of course, he had to just stuff it in his suitcase, and it got back. It's all creased down the middle. Oh. Eventually, when you lay them out, eventually, with well, a yeah. bit of warmth, they, they end up falling flat again. But it's like it's a real shame. And it's so hard to transport. I had to take one on a plane just by kind of drooping it over my shoulders like yeah. I was some kind <laughs> like of, <a> <laughs> <laughs> like kind of X-wing superhero. <laughs> Well, this is definitely an interesting approach um, with the rebel player turning to the right and then decimator uh, Decimator's moving to the... Yeah. Uh, the decimator's going to flee. Carnor's got to be careful of the bombs, and the decimator's got to be careful of the, of the torpedoes. Yep. And obviously, if, if, if one loses Carnor early to bombs from Miranda, then it's just going to be those three ships shooting at, at, at Chirino until they wear him down. There's only so much damage that Chirino can withstand. They're definitely going to have to um, burn down Biggs uh, as pretty quickly. As quickly yeah, yeah, so. And he's got um, an advantage. I mean, well, let's face it. Uh, Juan's list is a high offense list. That, yeah. There's no defense there. That, well, I mean, Cardinal's got auto thrust and stuff like that. But it's designed to hit and hit hard from both Chirino and from Cardinal's point of view. And he's got a shield upgrade on Carnal. I'm just realizing my microphone's covering up the majority of the cards on the right side of the table. So let me just adjust that quickly. One second. Yeah, sure. <coughs> so, there we go. It's a very... Um, it's a very early start. We've only got 176 people watching so far, but we expect that to go up during the day. But Nantorfs is present, so we can say hello to the uh, the world champion elect. Is that how you say the <laughs> Nantorfs? Oh, Nan um, the uh, well, once you're you know a champion, you're always a world champ. So yeah. um, it uh, it was the uh, runner-up for uh, the, this uh, last May's. Uh, World Championship. World Championship. And he's an excellent person as well. How's he? How's he fit into the American community? Oh, I mean, he's great. Uh, his personality is just awesome. Uh, everyone really enjoyed uh, hanging out with him yeah. and uh, just sharing uh, the strategy and tactics. And um, <laughs> really, uh, really good guy. Really easy going. Yeah. And uh, we had him. We had him come to Madrid in Spain for the Tatooine Open. Uh, it was just so funny, uh, like how how relaxed he is, and not only when he plays, but when he's talking to you as well. And it's like wow, it like makes you really proud that people like. Because for example, let's look at um, sportsmanship and stuff like that. No, uh, like like professional sports, you always get your players that are up towards the high end. That are like not not everyone's really in agreement with their positions and thoughts. For example, I can't really speak to American football to be able to give you a, an analogy but for example in the European football scene we've always got those players that like that get a big ego oh yeah themselves. the prima donnas yeah, yeah and yeah, so yeah. and they're like the best but and, and it lets them it goes to their head and it's like really obvious uh, whereas in X-Wing so far um, of the, the four champions four world champions that we've had they've all turned out to be really nice guys yeah very yeah. humble guys um, and uh, yeah that I think that's really really great for the community because yep. it uh, is very inspiring for folks that want to uh, compete on a high level. Yeah. And you basically, um, they're, they're good folks too, uh, good ambassadors for the community. And even even the even the the people who have got to the to the final tables on the world championship. Oh Dallas yes, Parker, yes. Morgan Reed. Um, oh, you got yeah, Dallas Parker, yeah, Nathan, uh, Nathan I, I, yep. Yeah, and uh, who was the other one I'm thinking of just now? Kevin Lines. Oh yeah, Kevin Lines. Oh, oh right, really good right. guys, yeah. you know. So and Doug Kinney, the the yeah, first yeah, world the champion. first world champion, Doug the, Kinney. The yes. champion, the whole idea of the fly casual movement. Right. So I mean, every one of those top players, it's just. There's no problem with them. Everyone, everyone's like they're the great guys. Definitely, um, and the folks that I've met with, and um, just playing today, uh, in the last couple of days, were really good matches. Um, everyone was very uh, courteous, and um, we had some really good matches. It, it was a lot of fun. Uh, there was one I was playing uh, Lucas uh, from Poland. Uh, I, it wasn't going very favorable in my match, but it was okay. <coughs> we still made it have fun uh, at the end. So uh, yeah. with some good, you know, good moves and whether well, it was a block or two. Yeah. And Lucas, Lucas is a great guy, huh? Yeah. Lucas, uh, 
Lucas came to the Tatooine Open in 2016, and uh, and obviously there were there were only like four Polish players, and I was the only native English speaker there, so we kind of spent a lot of time hanging out together. And what was what was funny about Lucas? What I've got so I've got so close to him now that I started referring to him to kind of describe him to people as being the white Carl Drogo. Okay, because he is this giant, imposing yeah, yeah. man with this super long ponytail. He's like, he's really passionate about when he plays. So when things go wrong, he's got no problem with smacking the table and kind of maybe letting out a little yell. Yeah, uh, so, so that just motivated me more like, yeah, there's, there's <laughs> no free lunches. <laughs> You're not exactly a small guy either. That's right. Like, <laughs> Yeah, no intimidation there. Well, the, well the, the thing that's most funniest about this is, obviously, I, I became famous in Spain for it, is that I was, he got to the final table of the Tatooine Open 2015. And uh, so I ended up having an interview with him afterwards. Uh, and he obviously lost to the Spanish player Abel Alvarez, who was playing mm. Dengar Tell a year and a half before it was fashionable. Been oh, yeah, stuff. yeah. <laughs> and, he, um, and, and so I was interviewing uh, Lukas, this boy, afterwards. And... Uh, He's telling me, yeah, I've been playing. I started playing in January. This was like June at the time. You know, um, I'm really upset I didn't win. I started getting a bit. I, I was like, what do you mean? You're talking about you, you've been playing for like four months and you you get to the final table and you're upset that you didn't win. Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> I him yeah, smack me on the face yeah. live on camera. <laughs> and that, because I'm not exactly a huge guy, but compared to him, it was like I was running the risk of getting smacked down off the yeah. table myself. <laughs> That end up being they end up making a meme out of that in Spain. Oh, they did! Oh, nice. <laughs> I've become famous that when you do an interview with me, there is a risk you run that you might get smacked. <laughs> All right, looks like this is going to be interesting uh, for uh, Juan and uh, Tim here. Rebel players turning into the uh, center of the board, inboard. Yeah. And with the decimator uh, that, out there, and then Carnor out there, so it'll be interesting to see which way they go. Do you think one of the things with uh, with, with Juan's Carnor, one of the things he wants to do is uh, trying to get into those asteroids and knife knife fight, take full advantage of his uh, uh, maneuverability? I think uh, it's tough because Miranda can, with those uh, bombs is going to yeah. mess that area up. Well, not just the bombs, but having. Um, you know, the 360, and you can plus up a, a shield, yeah. uh, you know, for an extra attack die. And, yeah, Corner has auto thrusters. Um, but, and then, yes, yeah, so you got to worry about the bomb. So, you got to, he's going to have to be really careful on the approach, but he really, at the same time, wants to neutralize any uh, actions with the uh, focus tokens for the yeah. Rebels. So, uh, so, that way the Decimator could try to get some long-range shots in and also take less damage. Uh, from return fire if they happen to be in arc so so one of the things that i've realized now is um miranda does not have advanced slam she's using guidance chips mm. so she's not got the uh the ability to do that, all that maneuvering that, that miranda usually does oh. dropping bombs in front of you so that that may be a slight limitation for, for tim's miranda but typically yes the the interceptors do like to get into the rocks do like to try and take advantage of that extra cover and their maneuverability to be able to dodge around in there so we'll have to wait and see um, exactly what Tim's next couple of moves are to work out whether or not he's going to try and deny Khan or that area of the board. No, I just realised um, <laughs> I dropped, I, I, I laid a cable across between the two tables, so I'm guessing one had to jump over it oh. to get round the other side. <laughs> 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 uh, on the right side of your screen there you can see Carol uh, from team ETC team Poland the captain uh, I can't remember his surname let me I'll tell you what let's just put up the uh, the top 16 rankings and we'll get a look at ourselves as well uh, so Carol is playing uh, Timo Raab uh, and Carol is Petrovic is my best interpretation of that surname at the top left there Carol is playing a decimator oh, Inquisitor build Petrowicz yes yeah. Polish <laughs> you know who's recording the other uh, decimator match on the other side of the table? It's uh, me. I'm not oh, mentioned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. On the okay. Facebook page on uh, First Earth TV, uh, go facebook.com First Earth TV. We've currently. Oh no, it's not broadcasting. I better go switch You're just on. Recording it, right? No, 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 it's not even that. I set oh. it up and then I got so busy doing other stuff, I didn't. Uh, okay, yeah, good thing oh, I'm a good wingman yeah, well here. You know, so. <laughs> 
All right, everybody. So, yeah, on that other table, what is interesting is the Decimator with uh, the Inquisitor. So I know there's a lot of uh, fans out there, especially Crate Squadron. They, uh, Chris Allen loves uh, the Inquisitor. He made the special Range 1 Ruler uh, template. And to see him uh, make the top cut is uh, truly awesome. So I think uh, we'll see where that game is, and hopefully uh, we'll get that recorded and posted for uh, later viewing down the road here. So the, yeah, the other, the other stream is now going. Uh, if you go to facebook.com slash firstfTV, you can see the match of Timo Raab from Germany against Karol Petrovic from Poland. Polish uh, Karol is playing a um, Decimator Inquisitor, and uh, Timo is playing three Atani Jump Masters. There you go. Yeah. So we'll see that and how that matchup goes. Um, Timo was saying yesterday he didn't think it was favorable for himself. So we'll have to wait and see. I mean, obviously, Jump Masters, they can sink a lot of damage on the Decimator, wipe that out quickly. How much can an Inquisitor do against three Jump Masters afterwards? We'll have to wait and see. Yep. They're saying here that um, if the crates could see you on stream, they'd die. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's a long, act, a long planning phase here, trying to work out these next set of maneuvers. And especially at this stage of the game, Tim is very uh, conscious of the uh, the curse of the Swiss champion, as we call it. The person that goes undefeated in Swiss, highest ranking after the Swiss tournament, goes into the top card and gets defeated by the person who just snuck in nearly every single time. Yeah, I think one of the most poignant differences there was to uh, Chambalaya at the Mustafa Open that you yes, attended right, right. when uh, 12 rounds yep. undefeated. I think that's probably the record so far. Yeah, he was the only one that went undefeated. Uh, that was truly remarkable. Yeah. Um, Not that he won that. undefeated during the nine rounds of Swiss, but also won the three top eight matches right. to win the tournament. So that's 12 rounds in a row in one tournament. <coughs> Oh, it looks like we're almost done. Yeah, looks like this is going to be a pretty critical round here. So, um, oh. Jess, two bank left. Two bank or three bank? Uh, it looks to me like a two. Okay, yeah. it's two. They're using those special prize yes, ship markers. Yes, these are the, uh, the top third of the tournament uh, received those um, acrylic uh, ship marker templates, which yeah. is awesome. Uh, I was lucky to make uh, 92nd place, so uh, with my 5-4 win yeah, yeah. and uh, record, and um, got got me a set of those. So wow. that's really awesome. So cool. They've got like little different symbols on them. One's got the uh, the, the Phoenix logo that Sabine's got. Right, one's right. Got the the, the Resistance Millennium yes. Falcon, and another one's got the the, yeah, the Rebel Alliance symbol. Okay, this looks interesting. It looks like um, Tim's decided to, hey, going to go after the decimator. Yeah. Well, it makes it easy for him at the end of the day. Yeah. He can burn well, that with three, with, with, with between the TLT and the two free dice attacks from the X-Wings, he can burn that one down. He can burn the decimator down within two free turns. Wow, that's interesting. Did and the question bank is, Miranda, I'm surprised he didn't just do bomb. a uh, one bank. Yeah, he's um, trying to, he's trying to, I think he's trying to get arc for those torpedoes. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Then that would make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Decimator can do a uh, three bank and boost and might be out. Uh, Maybe. But, but the question is whether yeah. or not whether or not Juan anticipated that he was going to be, if, that that's what Tim was going right, to do. Right, Because hmm. he's managed to get himself a nice little channel between those two rocks to move forwards afterwards. Right. The question is, how hard does Juan want to press with Carnal? Looks like he's uh, probably going to boost. Yep. Okay, boost left. Okay. Oh, interesting. Barrel roll to the right. Yeah. Yeah. See if he can get Biggs range one. Yes, he can definitely get range one. Yeah. Um. And, be, and be in that donut hole for Miranda where he only has to receive one attack from the twin laser turret. Hmm. Oh no, he went backwards, okay. 
So he, he wants the twin laser turret. Huh. <coughs> I think he's taking the right as well. Miranda is going to. Okay, so here we go. He's done that free bank. Now we're looking to see if we're going to do that boost. Oh, yeah, that's Jess in front. <coughs> mm. Miranda's also got the target lock from Jess Pavel with M9G8 to allow her to re roll those dice. Boost forward. I don't think you'd get the rear corner of his base out of Arkham Miranda. But he would be in range one, so the plasma torpedo wouldn't be an issue. Yeah. <coughs> I'm wondering if he boosted to the right. Mm -hmm. target oh, no. lock. oh, target lock. Okay. So here we go. Right, let's see what happens. Yep, shooting at Biggs. Three dice. Oh, oh. Three measuring. Looks like range two. Two blanks, one hit. Okay. Target lock spent. Yep. Two focus. Uses Chirino's ability. Crit, hit crit. Oh, you can't use two the focus. focus. Well. Nice. So two shields off the uh, bigs. Carner's uh, paying off already. Yep. Right off the bat. Very nice. Okay. Miranda's up. <coughs> Looks like Miranda's going after uh, Miranda. Carter. Yeah, Tim's got the I mean, initiative. Pointing at her. Tim's got the initiative, so that Miranda will attack before Carno. Is that how you have it indicated on the screen? The that's the live. Dot. That's the live stream. Yeah, the, the, exactly. Yeah, the, the bullet point next to Tim's name. What happens to TV? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, it's like technical difficulty. Someone must have bumped the wire. <laughs> okay. If you see a blank screen, it's uh, not the internet connection. It's probably. Uh, Something to do with the camera and the equipment here. I was checking out. Still says no signal. Yeah. <laughs> the capture card got disconnected from the power, so we're going to have to uh, look at ourselves for a moment. Oh, hey, everybody. This happens, I've got to plug everything in one by one. It's going to take us a couple of seconds to get things up and running anyway. Alright, looks you like we're back on. on what you can see. No, okay. they can't see. Alright, looks like uh, Jess is shooting range one on uh, the decimator. Four hits. So, yep, four damage. One, two, three, four. Wow, I guess uh, the shields got erased uh, kind of fast earlier already, so. I don't know if you fired a missile. Okay, there you go, you're back on live. How much damage went onto the dismount? Four cards? Yeah, I've got four damage cards already. Okay. Uh, so he's lost shields, he's got four damage cards. No crits, no? Uh, no crits, just right. Thank you very much, Richard. Already on half points then, 32 points on the board for uh, Tim. And two damage cards on Bix. No Excellent. Looks uh, like from now we're up and running, I've just got to put the action camera on. Yeah, and it also looks like the, uh, the asteroid, uh, integrated astromech uh, was triggered, so... Bix just got one hit. Pretty uh, promising for one, uh, even though you have points off the decimator. All right, Tim's got a kind of a pickle to try to figure out how to get more guns on uh, the decimator. Figure out how to move. Yep. So. Uh, so I've Okay, we're, we're back up to scratch now, guys. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. So yeah, having Big survive that round of combat gives Tim the chance to get another three attacks on that decimator. Well, no, the decimator will just make him pop, won't he? So that's not going to make much difference. But it does remove one attack from Jess or Miranda. Right, right. Yeah. So that's, 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 that's one more advantage to having survived one more turn. Well, it looks like Biggs has got that stress from um, Rebel Captive. Yeah. So. And then okay. We've got a talent roll by Jess. Now there's a whole bunch of crap going through on sound. Oh. On. No. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There we go. Now we're back to normal. Okay. So Biggs is going one forward. Clears the stress. Looks like he's still in range one of Karnor, so no, well, wait, he did a focus action. No, nope, he's double checking out, nope, can't do it. Nice try. <laughs> so he's gonna target lock. Okay, yeah, might as well do something. That's good. Alright, Miranda moves one forward. Okay, dropping cluster lines. Right in front of Karnor. Yeah. Still, they're plenty of distance for him to maneuver it with a short maneuver. Yeah, my prediction is uh, but I think probably, that probably expecting this. And yeah. probably just did a hard two left to clear or a two bank clear. The only problem is that it means he's disengaging from Biggs. So, yeah, yeah he has hard well, two. Well, but right. that's okay. Oh, no, he went oh, straight wow. into it. Wow. I missed it. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's ballsy. Hard to and right bumped. to clear the stress, but hits Biggs. Bumps, loses his action. <coughs> but to totally dodge the uh, cluster line on the right-hand side on the map. So that's yeah. some uh, fantastic flying. And so Decimator just uh, goes forward and bumps. Who does he hit first, Miranda or Jess? Yeah. It's possible theoretically you could hit both, but should only be one or the other. Oh, now we got a judge involved. Yeah. So they're holding the uh, piece slowly edging forward. It, it could be both, but it might just be Miranda. Which actually would be better for uh, uh, Juan. Um, I can't tell from this angle. Neither can I. I have to go walk over. <laughs> Just confirmed with the uh, one of the judges there that was assisting um, Rack hit the uh, bumped into Miranda. Wow! So that means he's got a shot from uh, Jess to Jess if he wants, but which is actually a good thing because Miranda can't shoot him. She'll probably go after Carnor. Oh, the, Ky the Kylo but Ren effect's coming in here. Oh, oh yeah. He's taking a blinded pilot crit. <clears throat> Put it onto the. I'll show you the dark side condition. And here comes attack. Yep. Carnal. Sorry, Chirino on, on Biggs. Three uh, focus results. One hit for a hit and a crit, a hit crit. with Chirino's ability. He's going to need double dodge here. Nope. One, One evade. Like Looks crit. like maybe it's a focus, actually. He's dead. And that's a structural yeah. damage crit. Thanks. Regardless of him being dead, but it's worth knowing. How often you see the structural damage come out? Well, there's more weirder crits. So Miranda, Miranda on spends a shield to roll an extra dice. And gets looks like three what hits. I'm guessing is three hits. One oh. looks like a focus result. No, target lock. Oh. One evade. Uh, auto thrusters from the blank. Yeah. So it looks like he's taking. Not spent that. Not lost that shield yet. Oh, he did a shield up. Yeah. Yep. How do you have two shields? 
No, no, he, he, he's not lost any damage. Didn't take any damage in that attack. So three, four hits on Miranda. Lose the shield, should take a damage card. Blinded pilot. Wow. From the Kylo Ren ability. So Miranda effectively not able to shoot Chirino this turn or next turn, able to shoot anybody thanks to the Kylo Ren ability. So back to Dials wow. after a devastating round of attacks. And it Tim. looks like uh, Jess um, didn't have Arc on Karnor, so yeah. I didn't see any uh, dice getting rolled by Tim here. So No, no, I don't okay. think he had, he had <coughs> Arc at all. It's a tough position for Jess because she's stressed, can't do another talent roll. Yeah. And needs to clear the stress trying to get back in the fight. Um, hmm. And I don't think he even can go one straight or two straight. Yeah. He's got the rock with the other mines. So he's going to have to do a bank or a turn. Ideally, he should try to do a move to clear the stress and then have uh, Rack bump into Jess, so at least avoid that shot. But then Miranda's going to have to move, so. I expect. Hmm. So for now. I don't know. It looks like things are going to go pretty quickly in, in Juan's favor. Yeah. Because Miranda's down to what? Um, seven hole left? N less. One sec. Miranda's got four hole. Oh, four hole. She's take, removed all shields and taken a critical hit with the blinded pilot. Still though, uh, Miranda does have one more set of cluster mines. She can easily hop over behind Chirino and drop all three of them on him with a with a two bank maneuver to the right. Mm. Nah, two bank won't clear. You have to do a hard two. Reckon? <coughs> okay. Three bank. Three bank still drop the bombs. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> So, ready to go. Just Yeah, because you do a hard two. <coughs> it's going to force Karnor to have to go left. Yeah. Probably, I would do a hard one left. Because one would be able to have a... Oh, this is oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Jess in. Trying to... <laughs> basically... Maybe, I don't know, block Chirino again. Making sure he can't escape from that kill box while Miranda's unable to shoot with the blinded <coughs> pilot would be my guess. Quite difficult to hear what they're but saying. I'm sure he... If I was Juan, I would have the decimator just do a straight three or four. Yeah. Just to get out of there and <coughs> reposition. Okay, the hard two, as you called it. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> yeah. Stem's asking Juan to, hey, hold Karner. I don't yeah, want to, don't want to say It's going to be kind of critical here. Okay. <coughs> so... Yep, right. I'm going to do the cluster bomb. Probably what they should have done. Yep, that's what they're doing here. I'm going to mark um, where Rack is supposed to be. Uh-oh, bumped into Jess slightly. Oh, Juan's adjusting for him. Okay, okay. here's the cluster bomb. So we, well, so I mean, bam, Decimator got hit by one. that one. It's going <laughs> to hit gonna the get other. By all yep, three. All right, yep, hits all three. That's a... Good triple whammy here, so let's see what happens on uh, so dice. We run the risk here of uh, well, not quite taking Chirino off the board. Yeah, I mean, six dice, 50%, you're yeah. looking at three. I don't know what he's going to do with Palp or what, but he's rolling two at a time. Oh, Takes that's not two. good. Two hits. Oh. 
Not a good start. Next two. Takes hey, none. Folks. All right, so still off 50%. And two. Uh, and two more. So total of four. Oh, man. He got two-thirds of those. So just four hole points left on shit. Yeah, wow. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> well, he won't be receiving any fire this round, though. So, I mean, he's, he's still going to survive through to the next round. And a bump from Carno yep. as well. In, but interesting to have, have him so close to Jess at range one. Oh, he, okay, he does a two forward. Maybe ends up on top of a rock. No, no, it's fine. Yeah? Yeah. It just looks weird from the angle on the camera. It's fine. It's good. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, he got like uh, two and a half millimeters to go. Okay. So, you know. <laughs> Fly so, casual. So he's he, had, good. he had that worked out. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't make top 16 uh, not being able to dodge a rock so <laughs> you know, like that with a big ship. So It was close. Though. Yeah, but it was pretty close. Yeah. And the camera angle makes it look even closer. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I would have done a three just to be on the safer side. But, you know, it's a lot easier to say when, you know, you're not in the cut. <laughs> yeah, and he's definitely he, – so he's looking to burn the hell out of Jess this turn. Oh, he's target locking Miranda. Oh, yep. Okay. Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess you got to keep the know. pressure on Miranda. I, I think mean, he would have uh, been able to take two. Jess out this turn. Uh, well, so you get another guys. crit in, right? I mean, target lock and a hit, three hits, two hits and a crit. So, and that's uh, uh, blank. Um, is that a, no? It's a dodge, hit, crit. Yep. So what's that? Shake and pilot. During the planning phase, you cannot assign what straight maneuvers. <laughs> All right, shake and pilot. So how many hit points has Miranda got left? She's got two left. Two left. Oh. <coughs> All right, range one. Bar, bar, bar. Uh, a bad roll. Hit crit. Oh, two, two blanks. blanks. Not good. So that's so, two shields. Um, yep. Rerolls. Gets another Still blank. Still nothing. Two shields. All right, let's see what uh, Jess can do. Range one, four dice. Carnor. Uh, see some. Oh, four hits. He's going to pout. Uh, definitely one. So it's three damage. Oh, and a crit. Uh, a direct a, hit. Direct hit. Boom! Wow. Good God. Wow. Needed uh, needed uh, corner to live. So maybe it might have been better to, like you said, go after Jess first. But yeah, with the shields and range one, that's tough. Woof. Okay, four hit points. This is a big turn of well, that was a, that was a huge swing. Yeah. That was a huge swing there for this game. Uh, whereas before, <laughs> I mean, well now you're basically looking at. Oh uh, yeah. Wow, he's got body language. Juan, he's not not too happy. He's, not at all. Yeah, he got his arms crossed, uh, just grimacing. Yeah, it's just like God. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> hey, that's go, actually. Go, I mean, when, the get, when Jess rolls four natural hits and or with a crit or whatever, it, 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 nothing you can oh, do. I, I didn't start the timer for this game, did I? Oh, oh. Thirty-nine minutes. What's that? Okay. Yeah, luckily uh, these guys at the Game Expo uh, got some good clocks in the corner, so yeah. they can keep track I'm as not, players and I'm stuff. I'm not a so. fan, particularly in my in my experience with organi with uh, organizing tournaments. Is uh, I prefer to just um, tell players. Round starts now. Round finishes at half past seven. True. Yeah, because that way, if you put those signs up, you get a lot. I, in my opinion, you get more people looking at them and timing. In my opinion, yeah. Oh, okay. That to people, uh, that play when, the clock when you play when you put the clock up there and so visible, you get it's more obvious when people are doing timing. So. Oh, for potential slow playing or yeah. Ex tactics. Well, that's the way I see it anyway. Yeah. There's pros and cons to both, so. Hard to say. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think if I was, I think Juan, I mean, Jess has got the problem here where she can't really make a maneuver to the left because there's a risk of bumping with Miranda. Yeah? She, she can't do straight maneuvers because uh, she's got shaken pilot. Yeah, Je Jess could do a three bank right and still miss the cluster bomb. You reckon? So yeah, well, maybe, yeah. That's, still though, that's what I'd look it's at. Giving, basically, that's the only maneuver you can think of that she can do right now, right. correct? Because she's got the rock in front of her, Miranda to the left, yeah. and Blue Customize to the right. 
So or, let's see. Or, or one Ford. <laughs> <Is that too? laughs> but no, he had to say compile it. Uh, judge. Oh. All right, we're calling over a judge. Yes. <coughs> you might want to check on that, sir. You can't do a one for him. Are we wrong? Oh, Miranda has it. My bad, sir. Never mind. All right, false start. <laughs> okay, Miranda. <laughs> I was like going, oh, no. <laughs> There was no penalty on that flag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like Miranda turned away. Got Jess. Mm. Um, and Jess has a shield left? I think that's a focus. She does. She does have a shield Yeah, left. she still has a shield left. So, so I'm, I'm going, I was going crazy, crazy. Right, got it's because he's got, he's got the card. Range two the Miranda the card's up there, and it kind of looked like it was in the middle. So I thought it was the Jess card. Okay. okay that was uh, a crit. Hit, and crit, and a focus crit. result. So what happened there? Oh, making a re-roll because of target lock. Okay, and then crit. All right, so that didn't help. Oh. And one evade. So shield gone and takes a crit. Direct hit. Probably going to burn integrated. Yep, integrated. So that's gone. Still has three hole left. Oh, gosh. Juan doesn't have to worry about any shots. Target lock got used. For now. There we go. There we go. All right, next turn for Niles. <coughs> Where'd the direct hit go? This is still going to be close. I think what's going to have to happen is um, Juan's going to have to Dude. take out Jess while well, not getting shot by Miranda. With Miranda way out there, shouldn't be an issue. Oh. Because the fastest he, she could turn is hard to right and a hard to right again slamming, not have a shot. Richard, um, did I did I just not see a damage card get flipped face up? Huh? Did I not get see a damage card card get flipped face up? I sure. No, but that was on Carno. Yeah, yeah. Carno. That was ages ago. Yeah, yeah. But There's they were looking at here. it, or oh, oh. Right, okay. Here? No, I don't know. I thought I saw someone pick up a damage card, turn it over face up, and it was a direct. No, hit. I think it's just counting. Eight. Okay. I don't know. My bad. So I think if I was Tim, I would just try to. Have Jess go fast, forward, boost to get away from uh, Rack, but get closer to Miranda. So. so speaking of the Fosses early, we're now joined by Travis Foss All right. uh, in the chat. We've had lots of big names in that chat. 327 spectators already. There we go. Travis Foss, uh, Nan Torfs uh -oh. is there. Star Killer, that's one of those. Um, Star Killer's one of those guys from the Vassal League, isn't it? Star Killer, I believe so. Um, right. I know Tyler, Tyler Tippett. Tippett. No, he's uh, St uh, Star Lord. All right. Okay. Yep. He uh, he always beats me. He crushes me every time. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. They, he did suffer a crit. They used integrated astronaut to get rid of it. Okay. <laughs> I was going crazy. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> okay. Thank you for the chat. Another thing, there's a guy in the chat called OAP Super Saint. Uh, check your private messages uh, on Twitch. I think I sent you something there. All right, this is uh, this, definitely this a really tight game still. Uh, this, this winds me up. Look at that at the bottom. Look at what? It's like some sort Maybe of it is. I <laughs> some trick thing. No, no, I'm talking about. Uh, this thing where it says it donated a hundred dollars, donated a million dollars. All right, well, this is interesting. I, I two wish. right <laughs> with Jess. So it looks like uh, he wants to have a shot. So obviously didn't do what I was thinking. All right, did a hard two right with Miranda. Now he's probably trying to figure out want to slam. Uh, I, I would. Got to get her in the fight. Okay. They still have that homing missile, right? So yep. that would be a perfect shot to it's line not, up. Who's got homing missile? No, Miranda's not got a homing oh, missile. She no, missile? she's got plasma torpedoes. Oh, plasma torpedoes. Okay. Even better. Yeah. <clears throat> or just as good. Okay. All right. Hard two. So there we closing. go. 
Okay, well, that's kind of a not so good position being in front of a rock. But for next time. And he's taking. Oh, he's looking. Okay. For the Kylo Ren action. I'll dun, show dun, you the dun. dark side. The dark side. So angry, blinded pilot oh, again. Yes, this will be good if he can connect. On Jess. Excellent. An excellent I combination. I would say a crate squadron little uh, phrase about, uh, hey, uh, give me your card, bleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's a free hit. Oh, hits. God. That was a crit. <laughs> that is a, that yeah. is a crit. Uh, that's not good. Chess is probably dead if you blind. Two focus. Spends well, the oh, focus. Okay. Suffers the crit. So takes the blinded blind pilot. Wow. Cannot attack this okay. round. Palpatine. Ooh, 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 this game is going down to the wire, yes, huh? Yes. <laughs> well, this is, uh, you know, you're seeing the game mechanic uh, execute perfectly. Um, you know, with Tim being aggressive, turning in to still have a shot. And, wow. Yeah. This is, this is, this is being an excellent game. Yep. So. Okay. Juan, uh, it looks like he's getting a little bit more relaxed um, as far as still in this game it's like they're planning dice or excuse me dials all right we're getting a uh, d discount double check by juan <laughs> <laughs> on the dial <laughs> <coughs> all right trying to figure out what to do with miranda he's got a i mean this is the risk is that miranda getting back into range to be able to put some damage on chirino is just gonna it's gonna Probably put her at I risk heavily at risk with only two hole remaining what I would try to do with Jess is because try the to decimator is going to, yeah, mm -hmm. is going to have to turn to, is going to have to fly over the rock some form. Uh -huh. So you basically have a, oh, what is it, a 33% chance of one of the three directions can go to try to block and then uh, keep him on the rock so he can't shoot. Hopefully he suffers a hit or crit. Maybe. Uh, and if Miranda can get in, I don't know if she can move hard, fast enough. I would have done the slam the turn before. <clears throat> but but Tim probably didn't think about it. He was going to get kylo All right. Well, okay. He goes one forward. Okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I don't think that's going to work. No, I, I, go, I think I would go four straight go right. and then boost left. Defamate is definitely going to go right. No, I would. Yeah. You reckon? Yeah, I, I would. Mean, he's got those, those custom mines. I don't know. No, I would go straight over the rock and straight boost over. left. Oh and wait, you can't. Well, wait, you can't. Can't take the action. Oh, okay. Well, turns right. Yeah. See, I didn't want a shot from Jess. <coughs> Jess doesn't have auto thrusters. Oh, he takes a focus, and I think there's no rock because yeah. of the angle of the corner. So, two hits and a crit. Palpatine, <laughs> Jess, one takes. blank, focus. So what is that? Two crits and dead. A hit. And a crit is stunned pilot. And she's gone. All right, well, that was a great move. So now it's just four hole rack against four hole. Two hole. Oh, Miranda. two hole Miranda? Yep, two hole Miranda. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's devastating. Yep. That's the whole reason she can't really afford to close range to try and get some damage on him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he did, did the cluster mines, four hits, but it's like, all right, so what? Yeah. You know? So, it, Juan looks really I mean, as soon in, as in a good spot to make, make the uh, top eight here. Um, as, soon as, as soon as Miranda gets into range to be able to fire the turret, unless it, for some, he's not going to do it because it, uh, Rack's moving afterwards, Chirino's moving afterwards, so even if he manages to target lock to be able to launch the torpedoes, He's not going to be able to. He's yeah. not going to be able to get it off afterwards. He can't get to a position where he's in range. Yeah, because even if he does a three left bank, it still can't even be in range of the target lock. Yeah, but even oh. so, it's like he's got the and risk. He, and he turns away. If he All gets right. into range, then he's going to receive fire from Rack first. Right. He's going to receive free dice uh, as an attack. And well, he slams. Okay, well, and that's interesting. He's got the difficulty of the fact that he's going to have to deal with. Um, He's only got two defense dice and only two hull left. 
Does he boost left? No, he doesn't do anything. <clears throat> and there's so much time on the clock, he can't run out the clock. No, so. no, no wait. Yeah. <laughs> Not even when Jess was still alive. Yeah. It, it wasn't going to work. Well, so we'll switch over to the other camera because we're not going to be seeing action for the next couple of turns. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, um. I think this is a point of uh, if you got to do laundry right now, uh, today, <laughs> you might want to throw a load in the laundry. You want to um, get yourself a cup you know, of tea, yeah. maybe make a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Or get breakfast for the guys back in the States. <laughs> you know, wake, wake up the West Coast guys. Tell them they need to get good. So that's my knock. Ha, ha, ha. All right, he's probably thinking about boosting left, but, you know. Yeah, he wants, yep. he realizes he's got the advantage. He wants yeah. to press it. He's yeah, just he got just needs to be smart to not lay on So now run. Miranda's going to go right turn. Right turn boost, right yeah. turn slam. Yeah, he's got to turn, turn right, which is okay because I would just go straight. He wants, he wants to kite the decimator through the asteroid field. Right. Well, sounds like uh, that Swiss curse thing is. Uh, it's working out, up. huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, damn it. Yeah. So it's actually good to take a loss so you don't have that extra pressure. <laughs> you know? The curse of the Pharaohs. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're like Jeremy at the uh, Mustafar Open, you know? Yeah, of course. It's, it, you got to get good. This is enough. <laughs> it is. It's tough. It just seems you have those, like, I mean, even with nine rounds, nine rounds is a lot of games, a lot of opponents to play against. Yeah. But when you start filtering through up to the top, you just end up, especially as we were seeing on the stream yesterday, you end up seeing a lot of the same kind of lists, Scamatani lists, and, uh, and very little variety in those top tables. And so you end up just kind of like filtering through that high performance meta <coughs> instead of facing the more unexpected meta, in, like in this case. Right, right. Tim doesn't want to give it up either. He's, he's, he's trying to find a way of, of having him just go. All right. right well, he went right like we thought. So he'll probably do a slam. Yep. Two bank, light, two turn right. Yep. There we go. Yep. All right. Looks like he's doing a mm -hmm. three, two straight. Yep. Well, getting close That's to those asteroids. Yeah, that, uh, that those, those mines. Uh, what? Did he really, did he really think that? that uh, did he really think that? Did he really think that Miranda was going to go left or, or straight? There? I, don't, I, don't, I, I think it was pretty obvious. Wow, this is a, a huge mistake. Is he going to boost? Oh gosh. He can't. He'll be on the rock. He doesn't fit. He should have only done a one forward or one bank right. Oh man, this is a out of range. This is a, um, I think, a very big mistake. Because either way, he's going to have to face two dice. But luckily, he has Palpatine, so most it would appear take one of the games from the top 16 is finished. I would guess. Probably one of the triple jumps. Let me go check. Real quick. No, it, Miranda Lebo versus, um, what did he tell me his list was? It was uh, Quick Draw, Vessery, and maybe Sabak. And I would guess by the applause, George won. Jack! No, I'm not going to be able to get that information. Okay, here we go. So, so Miranda once again jumped out of the way. Uh, Chirino's charged across those cluster mines here we go roll two dice one and we'll see how we end up and he gets the hit in the crit takes two more damage making the two ships on equal hull two points closes into firing range of Miranda he's got to sink damage on these on this shot he's got to roll three attack dice he's got to get Three hits and Miranda can't roll anything. Or no more than one. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yep. Okay. Free hits. We've got the we've got the kill shot coming in here. Oh wow! He made okay. it through. He just went through the rock, huh? And there we go. That's it. Wow. <laughs> okay. So the bracket is currently updated to all the information we know. We've still got Timo and Carol playing on the table on the live stream on Facebook. And we've still got to wait and see what happens with uh, Marton and Bartos. I think. Yeah, they're still playing. Sim, oh, congratulations for getting as far as you did. Thank you. Did, when we spoke, I asked you before that match started how well you thought that that match was going to work for you. And know, you, you gave me the thumbs up. Oh, no, I thought you meant, do you want to go on the stream? I'm like, yeah, oh, let's do right, it. Okay. Yeah. I was like, uh, yeah, so I told you what list again. it was. Do you know what list it is? And I went like that, and you went, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, no problem, man. Hang on, let me just switch this camera over, because I'm going to be... We have, we've had problems, because I've had to improvise a second setup. And uh, what's going on here is that <laughs> Liam Hall joins us. Um, so, did you... Exp so, then tell me, because I thought you'd said it was going to be a good matchup for you. How did you feel going into that match against that list? Well, I knew that Juan was a good player. I yeah. think if you're not such a good player, you just come straight towards me. <laughs> I'll just blow you away. Of course. But I know he was really cautious, and his opening was set up for a bump yeah. to see which way I was going to turn, which was fine, and then he reacted. We got to the point where I'd moved into the asteroids, uh -huh. and I either had to commit to Shirano or commit to Karnar. Yeah. I spent a lot of time thinking, and I was going to go for Karnar. Because uh -huh. he'd stressed himself, um, his move was kind of predictable, it was going to be a two turn or bank and I thought I could get some shots. Uh -huh. Just in case he bugged out yeah. with like a four forward boost barrel roll, yeah, I'd course. have all my x wings pointing the wrong way like idiots. So yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I can get some shots on Shirano, so I went for that. Miranda bumped, I don't know what I was thinking there, um, I just got that bit wrong. I think with the boost on Jess it meant she bumped, so she couldn't get a target lock on Shirano for the torpedo, which uh -huh. would be nice. Um, but I did do a lot of damage, in that first exchange I put half of Shirano's damage of so course yeah you, you, you smashed through that. them and we were all saying that the game was completely in your favour but, but then he got yeah. that one range one attack against Karno uh, I mean against Jess no you got the range one against attack against Karno you it wiped the, him out it was Kylo yeah that was it, the blinded pilot he got the two blinded pilots he got Miranda with a blinded pilot in the yeah. turn where she hit the bombs and then ran away and I think another shot from Jess would have maybe got me the win because that turn where they were face to face yes of course he declared the Kylo action he was flicking through the deck and he got about four fifths of the way through the deck without finding the blinded pilot because yeah. there was cards on Miranda face down of course yeah so I was hoping it was one of them <laughs> found the blinded pilot stuck it on <laughs> Jess rolled all the hits she only had two agility she took the one crit blinded pilot no shot damn shame and then I was never going to shoot again with her yeah and you, with Miranda you couldn't even risk getting into range because you had only two hole left and true. he's going to shoot first You've only got one attack, one defiance dice. I mean, unless you're at range three, you're gonna get two. Range three was my only hope, yeah. really. And it would, even though, even, even then, at range three, the numbers just aren't in your favour. No, it's not. No. Okay. Um, well, congratulations. Thank you uh, very much. It was a really good yeah, game. You've obviously done really well. Brilliant. And and anyone else would be uh, overflowing with joy to have gotten as oh, far I'm as you did. Like that. Nine <laughs> and zero. I mean, I've never made the cut at a big event not even a regionals wow and I come that's here why you're my favorite because you show up with like you don't have these shiny dice that everyone else has that annoy me the hell out of no, me because no. i can't see them on camera i don't have the time to do all these tournaments because <laughs> of a family so excellent um, i do what i can in and my you, shop you've and come down from dundee yep scotland yeah. excellent we had two scottish players in the top 16 yeah mark allen he's scottish oh, he's too so that's great right, okay wicked. one eighth of the field is scottish. well and there's also someone said there's a welsh i guess yeah, i think he won his game is it oliver pop no is he counting himself as being welsh I don't think so. I don't think so. Because he's like on the Welsh ETC days. So I'm guessing like he's like. Ah, okay. All right. Well, anyway, we'll speak to everyone else later on. Thank you very it's much for your fun. time, man. Thank for you for sharing your game. Yeah, because no you don't have to, to do it again. and letting people watch it. That's, that's an excellent part of you for, for the community. Congratulations okay? to Juan too. You played. I think yeah. you played that game perfectly. Yeah, I'm going to go try and speak to him now. We'll try and get an interview, at least a part in English, and I'll speak to him in Spanish. Okay, okay, so okay. thank you very much, Thanks, mate. <clears throat> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Juan del Rio, also known as El Nino <laughs> in Spain. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about, well, first let's ask you about the game. How did it go for you? Yeah. Did you expect it? Did you expect the game to be that easy for you? No. No? I mean, it was a bit, at the beginning when you lost Karno, you took a hell of a lot of damage on that decimator. Things weren't looking good for you, huh? Yes, uh, but in the Swiss, I played two, two games. With I lost Carnor in the first round. All right, okay, but you still managed to make it. And all with Decimator. Okay, wicked. Uh, and 
you really happy about how's it going? Have you seen what kind of matchup you got coming up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, what? You, how are you feeling about that one? Uh, I'm nervous. Nervous. Okay. Because what is it you've got? You've got a. Uh, you've got Shane with triple jumps. Yes. Yeah? Okay. I hate this. Uh, you hate this, right. Okay. Well, good luck to you on that one. One of the things I'd like to mention for the international community is obviously from Spain. Uh, I, I've never met you before, but heard about you and stuff like that. The Open in Barcelona, was that your first tournament? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, explaining things to people so they've got a kind of an idea of who Juan is. And how old are you now? Uh, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Eh? ¿Cuántos años tienes? I have 18. You're 18 years old now. The Open from Barcelona was about 13, 14 months ago. Uh, at El Enero. One year. Yeah, a little bit more than a year ago. Um, Juan showed up to his first tournament. It was a non unofficial 100 man tournament in Barcelona. And for some reason, Juan showed up wearing a suit. Yes. <laughs> what, what was that about? What made you do uh, that? Because uh, Ivan Verdera. Yeah. He t uh, uh, we have in, in Barcelona. Uh, Championship, yeah. That is a league. Yeah, league. Yeah. A league. And one of the fina finalists uh, uh, dress a, a suit. And in a suit, okay. And Ivan says, uh, "No hay huevos." Yeah, it's like saying you you, you wouldn't dare. <laughs> is yeah. a polite way to say yes. it. <laughs> and I, no. Yeah, and the next right. tournament, I go. With suit. Okay, cause so Ivan Verdera is also a, a very commonly known troll from the Spanish community. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who will, who will uh, basically tease and make fun of anything. And uh, so he's basically dared you to show up to the Open in a suit. And you showed up, played uh, the and Open. More tournaments. Uh, I go more in tournaments. Um, Madrid Regional. Right, all oh, right. I didn't go to that one because I was here. Yeah. Okay. And and that's all. Oh. Okay. Mm. So anyway, you show up to your first tournament, you're dressed in a suit, and you take a 100-man tournament, a 17-year-old kid dressed as in a suit, yeah? You win that tournament. Yes. Yeah. So well, there you go. So there's a little thing about Juan that the international community don't know. Ahora, en español. Vale. ¿Qué tal te ha ido? Va. Ahora vamos a hacer la entrevista en español. Vale. Para la comunidad en casa. Vale. Dinos, ¿cómo ha ido la partida? ¿Cómo la has sentido? Pues... En cuanto a la lista de Vix y Miranda no me gusta nada, en absoluto. No. Por, sencillamente una tarde me pasé mirando listas con Vix y Miranda y algo más, y todo me, todo me parecía que estaba roto. Ya. Yeah. Y en cuanto lo he visto, he, he, he tenido la, he usado la estrategia de, elegir, de hacerle elegir entre dos opciones, entre el, dec, el diezmador y Carnor. Ya. Yeah. Como con el... Con Carnor no he podido bajar a Miranda, sabía que me iba a ir a por el diezmador. Sí. Por eso he, me he acercado con Carnor y me he ido con el diezmador. Eh, he focuseado en, en Vix, me ha durado dos turnos, Ajá. con los críticos que saco y con Palpa y Chirenao, no puede... Sigue hablando, explica no. de casa. Eh, no puede usar el R4 oh, de 6 y después, Carol, cuando, he per, cuando he perdido a Carnor, pues yeah. intentar que solo me disparase una nave Carol, Timo, y yo a ella Carol, y eh, cuando me viese meterle un cegado y esperar que estuviese en el mazo. Y bueno, pues maté a Pava y después en, en cuanto tuviese a Miranda a tiro, no podía recuperar, a dos de vida, pues me la podía bajar. Yeah. Okay. And uh, for the next round you're facing Triple ch Jump Masters Atani. Yeah. Okay, but on that. El siguiente ronda es Jump Masters Atani uh, contra Shane Hibbard. ¿Qué te, ¿Cómo lo sientes de esta? Eh, hizo top en el mundial, así que... Yeah. <laughs> Shane, Shane y Feto? Sí, porque tiene las reglas. Y ah, los dados. Vale, vale, vale. Creo que ganó a Paul Hiver. Wow. Era él o ok, otro. pues eso. Asustaos. Este venía a Tatooine también, el Shane, ¿eh? ¿Ah, sí? Sí, ah, no lo vi. sí, estaba ahí. Pues mira, suerte para la siguiente Gracias. ronda, ¿vale? A ver si lo vemos o vemos otro partido. No, no, vale. no sé ahora mismo, pero suerte para el resto de rondas, ¿eh? ¿eh? Que lo marcas un buen papel para la gente de casa, ¿vale? vale.